G'day guys, let me show you just how easy it is to replace the bladder in your Q-less ball. This one here, it's got the bladder, the original bladder, it's got a black uh, nipple there. Essentially it's the same thing as a replacement bladder, it's just had the top of it sliced off and then coloured in black with a permanent marker. You could do the same thing, so the bladders that we have in stock on our website look something like this and they've got a nipple that looks something like that. And basically, if your bladder is not holding air for the duration of your session, then most likely the valve is faulty or for whatever reason, you've got to replace the bladder. And it's straightforward. Bladders are cheap, they're only a few dollars, and you can get some from Killers.com, the accessory section, or you can go to your local boxing shop that's got um, speed balls. Essentially, it's just a speed ball bladder. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to take the needle from your pump and deflate the ball fully. So you just want the needle and you want to put that in to let all the air out. Once you've pushed all the air out of the ball, get the needle, take it out, and then unzip your Velcro. If you've got tape around the bottom, which I do recommend having tape, then uh, take the tape off and take the Velcro off and uh, uh, unzip your ball. You may need to push, move uh, the adapter slightly, just jiggle it. It could be slightly stuck to the actual ball itself. Undo the Velcro and undo the zip and then take out the adapter. Now you should see the tongue there. The tongue should be sitting between the adapter and the bladder. And this is really important. This tongue is what stops your zip from splitting. It is the zip protector in essence. So with your bladder, all you need to do is just to pull it out. You can insert your hand in there and and get hold of it right at the top there and just pop it out, okay, and then pull it out and replace it. So these bladders, that's how they come. I've got that nipple there, you can see the new bladders. You can see the nipple and it's got a little like a mushroom part and that mushroom part is what sits over the top um, once you put it through the hole. So to get it through the hole, just push it until you can sort of get until you can see the hole on the inside. Press the nipple into that hole so that you can then pull it out from the other side. So the other side, on the outside, you can, once you see the nipple. The hole is quite small, so quite could be a little bit challenging, but persevere with it and then pull it through until pops out, it's got like a mushroom top, like a cap top. And hang on to that as you sort of work the bladder in and pull the ball back to its shape, making sure the tongue stays on the outside because you want that tongue to sit there. Okay, that's it. So you've got the tongue there. You've got the bladder on the inside. Make sure it's not tangled. It's not like um, rotated in some odd way. And that's it. Then you take your adapter and you put your adapter inside, making sure two things. One is that the tongue, uh, the bladder, goes inside the adapter and the tongue sits on the outside. So that's what you want. You want the bladder to be inside the adapter and the tongue to be sitting between the zip and the adapter. And that tongue is what protects um, the zip from splitting, stops the zip from splitting. Once you've got that sorted, just zip it down. The zip might not come all the way down. It might come sort of to about there. It's not a big deal. What I do recommend though, is after you close it with the Velcro, just use some um, some tape, some boxing wrapping tape, or just um, electrical tape. Just put a few rounds, a couple of rounds around there, and just it's going to hold that bottom nice and firm. I do that for all the balls at the gym.
and you can do it for your bull. So there you go, that's about it. Now to pump it up, fairly straightforward. You basically take your pump and you wet your needle and then pump it up. Pump it to about halfway and then make sure everything inside is as it should be. Nothing is caught. The bladder is not sitting somewhere between the adapter wall and the outer skin, the outer leather. Now, when you're pumping up, just check, make sure you don't want it to be overly tight. You want to be nice and firm, but not overly firm. So you want it to be about this sort of firmness where you could sort of push, press down with your thumbs a little bit, but not, you, you don't want it to be soft. You definitely want some feel to it. It also is a bit of a preference, but you don't want to be overly, um, you know, super hard so that the stitches are coming apart, but firm enough. And then once, you've, once you're happy with it and everything looks good, you can slice up the top of that nipple and just color it with a permanent marker, black permanent marker, if you don't like the look of the orange. Um, it's no big deal, but you know, it's up to you what you want to do. So that's the one there, and that's the one from the gym. That's going back to the gym, ready to rock and roll once again. I'll see you guys in the next video.